Hello everybody, welcome to another review. Today I'll be taking a look at the latest version of Fast, which was released uh, just uh, yesterday, I guess, and that is version 7. There really haven't been too many changes from what I can see. It's the same interface, I can see the same features. Uh, some internal improvements have taken place, like uh, they have improved their sandbox somewhat, but uh, nothing that you can really see. So it looks the same as version 6, but uh, you can see that it's version 7.0.1451. And you can see that it's up to date. I'll do one more check. And uh, basically, we'll be leaving it in stock settings. Let me just take a look at the file settings. And uh, one thing that I'll have to change is the scanning of PUPs, because uh, I do have a few PUPs in my malware links. I think a couple of them, and there's no point of testing P detection of PUPs with uh, this disable. So I'll turn it on. And other than that, I've just set everything to stock. Uh, heuristics is set to normal. This is how it comes from the factory. Behavior blocking, it's all set to stock settings. So let's just get started. You can see that it's up to date. So let's see how it protects us against uh, some zero day links. Okay, so the first file got through the web blocking, but uh, there you go, the real-time blocked this as adware, and that one got blocked. The next one, some kind of uh, adware again, or maybe not. I think this is a Trojan. That was just the detection of the last one, I guess, again. Okay, you can see that this one was blocked as malware. Okay, Trojan horse blocked. This one was cut by the web blocking. This is another piece of adware. Let's see how it fast deals with it. There you go, PUP blocked. Uh, again, this is disabled by default. I had to enable it. Okay, let's try out the next one. And this one got blocked as well. Okay, this one was blocked by the web blocking. Let's try out the next one. Okay, there's some kind of script, and it was trying to drop a Trojan, and that one got blocked by a vest. There's some kind of infected HTML. And, uh, whoops. Uh, uh, we'll just consider this as dead. Okay, next one got blocked by a fast. The last one's a low detection PUP. Let's see how fast uh, deals with it. Okay, it was not caught by the signatures. Let's see if the sandbox gets it. In fact, uh, this one just got straight through. And this just one more form of uh, adware. It's asking me whether or not to install Babylon Toolbar. 
we'll let that complete. Let's take a look at uh, the sandbox settings for a second because uh, that file was either rated as safe or skipped by the sandbox. It's set to auto decide so maybe if uh, it wasn't sure of uh, what to do the behavior blocker probably just uh, let it through. So whatever this is it's installing some adware along with this flash player and uh, we'll see what it does. Meanwhile, I guess I'll just uh, skip this because this is a legitimate program. No point of installing this. And uh, let's just grab some files. Okay, I just grabbed my files. There are 351 of them. And uh, these are the same files that I used in the Bitdefender test. So you can compare the detection rates if you want to do that. And now I'll just enable all the shields and I'll do a manual scan of these files. Now why I'm having to do that instead of doing the context scan is basically because uh, by default scanning of potentially unwanted programs is turned off and there are some potentially unwanted programs in there. So I'll have to do it this way. The scan's really fast. I think it fast has one of the fastest uh, scanners that I've seen and even the fastest quarantine or delete feature. So you can see how quick this is. So already found quite a lot of stuff. Now, as I said, these files are a little bit old. They're about seven or eight days old now, so I'm expecting good detection rates. So let's see what it's found. We'll just uh, delete everything that it's got, and I'll hit apply. Okay, so you can see everything is uh, removed. To finish the cleanup process, we recommend a boot time scan. Now, if Hest has a boot time scan and wants to do that, but I'm not going to do that because I know all the threats are in this folder. So we're left with 22 items. That's a pretty good detection rate. Okay, so that's a detection rate of 93.73%. In fact, it's slightly more than what Bitdefender got yesterday. So it's not bad at all. In fact, it's very impressive. Now, if I didn't turn on the detection of PUPs, maybe it would have caught a couple less, but uh, no point of testing it that way. So now let's try to run some of these and see if their sandbox or behavior blocker does anything at all. Testing it in stock settings. So it's all set to take its decisions automatically. So it's not going to ask me anything. Okay, this is a piece of adware again. If I remember right, I had skipped this in the Bitdefender test because uh, it asked me pretty clearly whether or not to install 
Babylon toolbar, but anyway, I'll be running this and we'll see what happens. Okay, there's some kind of crack or something, so it's not really a threat, but it's illegal software. Okay, so I guess uh, that's enough of uh, trying out files. So I'll just reboot, run CCleaner, and probably run Malwarebytes, and I'll show you guys the results. Well, so as you can see, Malwarebytes did not succeed in finding anything at all. So I'll just do a scan with Hitman Pro, and I'll be back with the results. Okay, so Hitman Pro didn't find anything either, so the fast uh, did a great job, it blocked everything successfully. However, in case you are an experienced user, I do have one recommendation. By default, the behavior blocker is set to ask, I mean it's not set to ask, it's set to auto decide. And basically, I would recommend turning this to ask if you're uh, kind of a little bit experienced, because by default, it's set to auto decide, but most of the time it's just going to allow all the threats unless they do something really dangerous. So, if I were you, I'd set it to ask, but that's your choice anyway. So, this uh, did pretty well, as good as the last version. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. A fast uh, 7 does look pretty good. You can try it out if you want, it's free, and it's great for a free antivirus. So, that's it. Talk to you guys later.